George and I had had tested a lot of potential Indiana Joneses, from Tim Matheson to Peter Coyote to Tom Selleck. Hello, Murphy. When I talked to Tom Selleck about it years later when we did Sea Change, part of what the problem was was he, he they wouldn't let him out of his contract to do Magnum P.I. He, he, he had just signed to do this, this series. George and I pretty much went after Tom Selleck and then a man who became a very close friend of mine, Bob Daly, at that time the head of CBS, said, wait a minute, we have a series commitment with Tom Selleck called Magnum P.I. And he greenlit the series. Tom had a TV series that took him to great, you know, heights of fame and fortune. And we had nothing. And uh, I guess that turned out to be a, a lucky break for Harrison Ford. We ended up doing a screen test with uh, Tom Selleck and Sean Young, and it was really, really good. I mean, they were both terrific actors, and it turned out really well. I don't think I ever got a chance to meet George Lucas. No, no I met George Lucas once. That's right. Stephen had taken me over to the sound stage that they were doing the sound on um, the second um, Star Wars. It was the one that Irving Kirshner directed. So I got to meet him once. It was, uh, it was interesting. I liked, you know, the experience. I remember I was driving over Beverly Glen and um, when you come on the city side, there's a little side street called Ravenwood. And I thought, oh my God, that's perfect. So I put my uh, wife's grandmother's name with this street name, and that was Marion Ravenwood. I've learned to hate you in these last 10 years, but no matter how much I hated you... Karen was the so clear favorite because she had spunk and she was sort of a firebrand, and she reminded me of the 30s women. She had that kind of Irene Dunn quality about her and a little, a little bit of the Carol Lombard, and she just seemed perfect for the part. I think I was really, you know, new. Look, I did what I did. I don't expect you to be happy about it. But maybe it can do us both some good. Why start Just now? Just shut up. Shut up and listen to me. New I need that to acting or kind of raw. And I think that was what my agent was told in the be in, at the time was that I, I was a little bit raw. And I don't really know what, what that means but you know I was a newcomer at the time so but it was a it was a great opportunity it was one of those rare occasions where everything the script came out better than we expected the movie came out better than we expected everything sort of just came together and was brilliant 